So you were going to talk about the take taxing banks' profits. Yes. Why are we doing that? Um, so that one too takes us back to mm -hmm. the President Mahama administration and one of his legacy debts, which we have to reference. It's not to justify it, but to let people understand that um, the banks started collapsing under the NDC government. And if you remember some of the economic lectures that His Excellency Dr. Baumia used to give, he predicted that about eight banks at the time were almost collapsing. Mm -hmm. And truly, when the NPP government took over, there was mess. In fact, even the liquidity support that Bank of Ghana started giving the banks to support them to show up their operations. Some of it were mismanaged, shared by some directors. And so we know that something had to be done. President Anna Kufuado had to raise 21.6 billion in order to save depositors. About 4.5 million depositors, their funds needed to be preserved. We had about 81,700 investors, those who did investment in some of the financial institutions. All these accounts and investment needed to be preserved. Whilst these banks go down. So government spent 21 billion cities using your tax, my tax, our tax to pay. It was important to do that in order to reform the well, banking who, who sector. Who did they pay this 21 billion? Who did government pay the, the customers? Money? The, the customers who had deposited, deposited the, bank. the money. So if I had money at uh, UT Bank, yes, I'm, I'm home. I think the money is there. You are telling me the money was not there. It wasn't there. In fact. It, wasn't it got to a point. I have 6,000 cities at UT Bank. Yes. You say to me it wasn't there. It wasn't there. In fact, the customers will tell you that you can even deposit money at, say, UT branch this morning. And then by the time you walk to the next branch and you ask them to pay the money you have just deposited, they will tell you, can you go and come? In fact, it took days for people to get small and they were reducing limits of withdrawals. So Ghanaians knew that there were problems. GN Bank, all those banks, they were, they were no liquidity, liquidity to serve the customers. Hmm. So this 21 billion was the total amount of money that Ghanaians had, individuals and corporates, in the banks? In the banks. As so government deposits. needed to guarantee that? Yes. Government needed so to So who did the government give the money to? The banks? To the, no, they didn't give to the banks, to the customers How of the did banks. the customers get it? Oh, you know the CBG and all those banks, GCB, ah, okay, the okay. banks that were formed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So all those liabilities were transferred to this new mm -hmm. banking mm -hmm. uh, um, machinery that had been created. So your details will still be there with your account details. Just, just go and But prove. now the money I go and take, that 6000 it's not the 6000 I put there. No, it's not the 6000 The 6000 that there. government has put, put in. in. Where is the 6000 I put there? It's been wasted. That's the essence of what we are talking about. The banks has collapsed. Wasted? Yes. They wasted it. They shared 21 it. 21 billion. Put it in uh, unrecoverable investments in things that cannot be traced. Some bordlands and houses, even though they are doing banking. I mean, as soon as depositors' funds came, they went to do investments in all kinds of things. And that's how they wasted the money. Yeah, but that investment is there. Yeah, so that is the essence of the uh, liquidator trying to trace. But before you are going to liquidate, trace, find, I and liquidate. I cannot wait. Uh -huh. So government needed to preserve the banks by reforming it, restructuring it, and recapitalizing it. Mm. And that is what government has done. Now people have more confidence in the banking sector today than it was in those years. And so if government has been able to restore confidence in the banks, then what we need to do now, your taxes before, your, your profits before tax, let's take 5% of it across the banking sector to help government to redeem some of the debts. Profits the, before tax. Yes, the bank's profit. In fact, after the So you're taking 5% before you even talk about the tax. Yes. Mm, that's harsh. Yes, why, why are you taking the money for? Uh, in fact, why are you taking there? That's money that government has had no role to play in it. Government has massive role to play in oh, it. I'm, I'm a bank. Gov I set up. I survived okay. the, the, the banking thing. Yes. Uh, now you come, you say you want to take 5% of my money. Okay. So, but for the intervention of government, mm -hmm. people were going to withdraw their banks, their monies from the banks. That would have brought uh, <laughs> problems because... You mean... The, Intervention the government made to create the confidence. Yes, but for that, but people would have. If my bank was also in problem, I am. 
UNB well, or um, Omini Besich Bank, I wasn't in trouble. Yeah. My customers were comfortable with me. You went to close down UT Bank. You didn't close down my bank. Everybody, I have the confidence already. I didn't need government to give me that confidence. No. It's, you see, what was happening like a cancerous situation. Mm -hmm. So even though it started with UT or uh, uh, First Capital Bank, or the, it was going to spread. As soon as people get the impression that when you take your bank, your money to bank, you cannot recover it. Even the banks with the funds, bank, yes, yeah. it's go there's going to be a rush on the banks for people going to do mass withdrawal. Mm -hmm. And so government needed to come in to restore confidence that if your money is at the bank, it's safe. Mm -hmm. And that has helped so many banks today to now begin to make huge millions of uh, profits. The banks have started announcing their profits and balance sheet check. There's mm -hmm. huge profits that they are making. All that government is saying is that the profit that you have made, let's take 5% before tax, before maybe you go and pay your corporate tax or whatever tax that's on your profit. It's not on your operations. It's just on your profit. And you see, it makes sense to do that because we have spent the nation's money to preserve the banking system. So let's also have your contribution mm -hmm. in order to... Uh, kind of recover some of the funds and investments government has made. I think this is fair. And people have complained that the banks will shift the burden on the, their customers. That is not wholly true. Because when you look at the incidence of taxation, that is the burden of tax when government is introducing it. Is it going to be on the banks or on the consumer? You'll find that there's high elasticity of demand for banking services in Ghana. What it means is that if a bank begins to increase their charges on their customer, there's high tendency that they either close their account or switch to another bank. So the banks are mindful of that. There's huge competition. They will not be able to shift all the burden on the consumer. So we've done all that analysis and we found that uh, it will rather serve as good to introduce that percentage on their profits. It's not on their operations, on their profits, so that we can all help to strengthen the banking sector. Mm. This, is, this is interesting. So two taxes, we want to blame John Mahama, energy and banking. <laughs> yes, 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 in fact. Mm, I see. It is wholly his legacy debt. And he must understand, oh, we, we Ghanaians must understand that but for his decisions, mm -hmm. we will not be in this difficult situation that we need to address.